A few days ago, the first teaser trailer for the Minecraft movie dropped and people all around the world collectively agreed that it was terrible. Terrible might be a bit harsh, but I think a good chunk of people watched that thing and said, wow, I have almost zero excitement for this right now. Studios have proven over the years that they will listen to audiences if they think it'll affect their bottom dollar. And based on the reactions from pretty much everyone, I sure hope they have their ears open because there are some changes that should be made, but I did the work for them. I'm presenting three different approaches they can take to salvage this Minecraft movie, make it something special, and not just another disposable pile of crap with the video game license attached to it. Let's begin. Before I bust out the crafting table and build upon my intro, I would love if you could go ahead and pickaxe the crap out of that subscribe button. I post movie reviews, commentary, live streams every single week. All movies, all the time. Would love to have you stick around. Minecraft is one of the most popular, most beloved game franchises around, and it hasn't been around that long in comparison to something like a Mario Brothers or a Sonic the Hedgehog. So it's even more impressive that it cultivated such a large fan base. And that's why it's of paramount importance that this movie get done right the first time. Otherwise, we have a live action Super Mario Brothers movie on our hands, and then we're gonna have to wait another 20 plus years before they correct that. My first proposal is by far the most radical. I say burn the whole thing down and start over. Is this a realistic idea? No, but it's one that they should maybe still consider. What I saw in that trailer made me cringe up about as hard as I did the first time I saw that Cats film. The Minecraft budget is reportedly $150 million. Toss it in the trash. We're starting over, okay? Maybe drop the numbers down. You could get this into a healthier 80, 90 million, maybe even less, because it's gonna be fully animated. And that means those live action actors have nothing to do. We can kick them away too. Jason Momoa, see you later. Jack Black is Steve, not gonna happen. We get some no names maybe. You, you could, sure, you could get a Chris Pratt-esque celebrity if you want. Maybe just throw Will Ferrell in there as someone. It doesn't matter. You could keep the young actress from Wednesday. Sure. Keep her in the mix as a voice. Get a couple more Nickelodeon stars or whoever the kids are watching these days. Put them as voice roles. Then you still have a little bit of that star power. I just don't know how important it actually is to have Jason Momoa in the film. Yes, he can post it on his socials. He can make a, a story about Minecraft on the gram, but Really? Like, I think everybody knows what Minecraft is. Much like with Super Mario Brothers, I don't know if Chris Pratt really drew in that many new people that weren't gonna see it unless he was voicing the character. So we're gonna save a lot of money by not pushing out the A-list stars. We're gonna save some money by not having to do the live action mixed with CG crap. You can have one cohesive visual look. So let's say this budget balloons to 200, 250 million dollars. The Mario Brothers movie made over a billion. All right, you have to over double your sales to account for marketing and whatnot. So even if this film hits around 650, 700 million dollars, it will be a success. And since it is Minecraft, which has massive popularity, do it right the first time. Take a little bit of a hit in the revenue department because you are building something that's going to last. You're building a franchise here. This isn't a one and done movie. People will expect more. And so if you have the right visual look and tone the first time, the sequels will be much easier. And listen, believe it or not, this approach with having live action characters in an animated movie is not a bad one by any means. It actually box office wise makes sense for the studio. The Jumanji movie with Jack Black and The Rock made almost a billion dollars, just shy of it. The second one, while not as popular or successful, still made $800 million. So this format works for people, but for me as a gamer, as someone that really likes Minecraft and appreciates the look, the aesthetic, I want it done in a way that's serviceable to fans and new audiences. Option number two, and this is probably going to be the most realistic thing they can do as a studio, would be not to change anything they currently have with the actors, or with the script, whatever, but change the animations. Change the visual look of the world they're in. Now, don't get me wrong, I actually think it looks really good. The CG mountains, the trees, animals, uh, maybe, maybe not so much. That looks like a mobile game, almost, with the facial expressions. But, like, the landscape stuff looks really good. But with the live-action people in this world, it does not match at all. The lighting is off. 
I mean, so you either have to change the lighting on the live actors to make them feel like they're in the world more, or you need to change the world to look more realistic to match them. I'm not talking live action fully. I'm just saying tweak the animations, tweak the mountains and the trees and the animals so they have a more lifelike appearance. Keep in mind, I don't really like this suggestion, but I think it's gonna be better than what I'm currently seeing in this trailer, which is atrocious. I mean, it's clear they don't really care that much about making a movie that's true to the game when you have Jack Black as Steve. I like Jack Black, I think pretty much everyone does. That's why he's the character. That's why he's Claptrap. That's why he's Bowser. They're just gonna keep using him because he works and they say, oh, movie made a lot of money, who's in it? Well, Jack Black was in it, that means we should put him in this one too. That's as far as their thought process goes. But I don't think anybody played Minecraft as Steve and thought, man, I can imagine Jack Black walking around these mountains, making funny noises, falling down hills. No! But yeah, the visual appearance of Minecraft, if we're doing live action, put more detail and hairs on the creatures. And li listen, even as I say it, I hate it. I'm just trying to salvage the poor decisions they made. My number one suggestion, and I think it's a happy medium for both the studio and the fans, is to keep all the animated stuff intact. Maybe, maybe again, tweak some of the creature faces. They're a little rough. But the mountains, the trees, that stuff's all fine. Let's animate over the top of the characters, though, coming into this world. I know plot-wise, they might have to change some of the dialogue. They can do that pretty easily in the studio, especially when we are replacing Jason Momoa's live action body with a CG blocky character like you see in the video games. So they can still be humans going into the Minecraft world, but they become Minecraft characters once they enter. This allows us to see a fully rendered CG world. As far as Steve being Jack Black, that might also need to change. We, we maybe change the voice actor on that. But I think that gets us to a bunch healthier spot. And listen, it's not that radical of a suggestion. The Sonic the Hedgehog movie from just a few years back, the first one, had such terrible fan feedback. The reactions were so bad that the studio actually went back and reanimated Sonic to look more like the video game counterpart instead of that ugly humanoid abomination they presented to us in that first teaser trailer. It is possible. We have the technology. And since these humans are all just green screened anyways, it's as simple as just turning off a layer. It really is that easy. Oh, they're not there anymore. Now we just have an empty canvas with lovely looking rendered backgrounds. Let's put in some great animated characters. Everyone's happy here. If it was up to me, I would blow it all up. I would set up some TNT and just destroy this thing, rebuild from scratch. But I think financially the best approach would be my number one spot, which is just replace the live action. You can still use their voices. You paid them, you can use them. All right, those are my three suggestions for how they can fix the Minecraft movie. I want to hear from you. Maybe you think this is great and you just need to see more. A fully fledged trailer might win everyone over. I doubt it. I I'm getting really strong shades of that Sonic the Hedgehog trailer, and I want it fixed yesterday. If you like my suggestions, let me know which one you like the best, why you think it'll work, or if maybe you have a fourth alternative idea, I want to hear from you down below. Please, again, think of subscribing to the channel. I post movie commentary, reviews, roasts, live streams every week. would love to have you stick around. I have a second channel, since you're here still, called Adam Does Rants. I'm doing more of this, but it's more comedic trying to make you laugh, talking about first world problems. Lastly, if you love my one man band and you wanna show support, you can leave a super thanks right under this video or you can become a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Lots of exclusives, 300 videos at your fingertips for only a dollar a month. Of course, there's larger tiers with more perks, but it's a great way to show your support and I would appreciate it. All right. Hopefully I see you next time reacting to a new Minecraft trailer where they fixed it all. Take care.